Hello everybody. Welcome to Yoga for Self Love with Kim. I'm Kim. This will be a short, about 15 minute gentle practice. So bring yourself to your mat. Come down onto your back. We'll start in a little Shavasana. You can extend the legs down the mat if you like. Take the arms out to the sides. Or if you prefer, you could have the knees bent with the feet planted down on the mat. Maybe even allow the knees to knock in towards each other. So find a comfortable space here on your back. And let yourself land. Let your body get heavy. Imagine that the earth, the floor, the mat is holding you, supporting you. You can let go of any resistance or holding or gripping or bracing and just let everything soften down into the earth. So all of the points of your back body that are coming into contact with the earth or the floor or the mat get heavy. And then allow yourself to let go and to relax everything. <laughs> relax your body and your mind. And you begin to check in, become aware of how you feel. How are you doing today? Noticing anything that you bring to the mat with you. And I invite you to bring in the intention to be gentle, kind, patient, loving, compassionate with yourself. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Draw the breath all the way down into the belly. Feel your belly expand. And then release the breath from the belly. Back up and out through the nose. A few more deep breaths in through the nose, filling the belly all the way around. Filling the rib cage, the chest, the torso, and then releasing the breath from the chest, from the belly, back up and out through the nose or out through the mouth. And then release your hands. Slowly open the eyes. Invite some movement in, wiggle fingers and toes, roll out wrists and ankles. And now if your legs are extended down the mat, bend your knees, draw your feet in towards the hips, and then step your feet wide to the outer edges of your mat. And drop both knees over to the right side. And then bring your knees up through center and drop the knees over to the left side. And then begin to find your pace, moving your knees side to side. And the next time you drop the knees over towards the left side, begin to roll up onto that left hip. So you come onto your left side, maybe reach that right arm up over the ear. You bring the right hand up to meet the left hand, maybe palms together. And then slowly bring that right arm back down and over to the right side as you roll onto your back and then drop knees over to the right side. Roll up onto that right outer hip. Then onto that right side, sweep that left arm up over the ear, maybe palms come together. 
And a few times you roll yourself like this from side to side. And then if there's any other movement that feels good, organic, intuitive along the way, feel free to add that in. And then bring yourself to center, walk the feet back in, extend the left leg down the mat, draw the right knee in towards your chest and hug that knee in. And then slowly roll over on to that left outer hip, bringing yourself into a reclining twist here. Maybe that right knee comes down to the floor. Maybe you extend that right leg out to the right side. And come down onto the big toe side, inner edge of that right foot. And then we'll bend that knee, roll yourself onto your back, hug that knee in. And then switch it to the other side, extend the right leg down the mat, bend the left knee, hug it in. And then roll over onto that outer right hip. Left knee will come over towards that right side. Maybe you extend out through that left leg as well. And then roll yourself onto your back again, hug that left knee and hug the right knee in. Take your hands to the back of your thighs and send your feet up towards the ceiling. Happy baby variations stay here. Or if it's accessible, you can reach your hands up for your feet. Inner edges, outer edges of the feet, the heels, the calves, or just bring your hands to the shins. You stay at center or if you like, gently rock yourself from side to side. And then bring yourself to center. Keep a hold of the right foot, drop that left foot down to the mat. And gently pull that right knee down towards the floor. That left buttock or hip will pop up off the floor a little bit. And press that left buttock down. Right knee will pop up a little bit. And gently toggle yourself here side to side as you draw the right knee down. Left bum pops up. Draw that left bum down, right knee will pop up a little bit, couple more. And then send the left foot back up to your happy baby, grab a hold of that left foot or the shin, release that right foot down to the mat with the knee bent. Maybe you take both hands to that left foot, pull that left knee down towards the mat, your right buttock will pop up off the mat a little bit and press that right bum down towards the mat. That left knee will pop up a little bit and then toggle yourself side to side here. Left knee comes down towards the floor. Right bum will pop up a little bit and then you press your right bum or buttock or pelvic half down towards the mat and that left knee will pop up. So a couple more. And then send the right foot up, back into your happy baby. Hug the knees into the chest. Roll yourself over to one side and then press yourself up to a seated position. Take your feet wide, knees bent here, hands behind you, press into your fingers, lengthen up through the spine. And we'll drop both knees over towards the right. So we're bringing the legs into sort of a stag shape and then plant the feet, knees come back up. You drop the knees over towards the left side, finding the stag position with the legs and then wave the knees from side to side. You may find that you sort of wiggle your way around <laughs> the floor off the mat as you do this, that's okay. And the next time you flip the legs over towards the right, bring your torso over to look over that right shin and then flip the legs over towards the left. Torso will face over that left shin and then take this side to side. 
then as you do this, maybe you begin to take a little bit further. So maybe the next time you bring yourself over towards the right, right shin, instead of facing that right shin, maybe you take the left hand to that right knee thigh and begin to spin the heart towards the right a little bit. Maybe you even reach that left arm up along the ear and then bring yourself back through center over to the other side. And again, maybe the heart spins over towards the left. Maybe you bring that right up, arm up along the ear. A couple more, just sweeping yourself back and forth. And then bring yourself back to center and then find your way into your table position on your mat, coming onto all fours. Rock your hips side to side. Wiggle your spine around. Maybe you find some little sort of figure eights here. And then look over towards that right hip and then shift your gaze look over towards that left hip bring yourself back to center then drop the belly down swing the rib cage over to the left press into your hands round the back up towards the ceiling bring yourself through center bring the rib cage over to the right soften the belly and then swing yourself through center begin to roll yourself around in these barrel rolls as you come through center, the belly softens and drops down. And then you press into the hands, round the back up towards the ceiling and continue around, rolling the body, the rib cage around, and then slowly switch the direction. Come through center, belly softens, press the rib cage over to the right, round up through the back, roll yourself through center, rib cage comes over to the left, and then you soften the belly. Come back through center, a few more. Barrel rolls around in this direction. And then bring yourself to your table. Tuck your toes under, press into your hands, hug the arms in towards each other. Glide your hips up, downward dog with a big or little bend in the knees. Press down and out through the hands, down through the heels. I'm finding the natural curves through the spine here. Just notice what's happening in your back. And then begin to pedal out your legs. Bend one knee, press opposite heel towards the mat. Walk it out. And take it into a twisted dog. Bend your knees. Turn your toes to the left and your heels to the right. Press down through the hands, pull your bum back towards your feet. Maybe you gently pulse yourself back, bum back towards the feet. Bending the knees. You can stay here or root into the right hand, reach that left arm up over the ear. And then the left hand comes back down to the mat Bring the knees back through center, bend the knees, and then we'll take our twisted dog over to the other side. Toes over to the right, heels over towards the left. And some little pulses here, pressing down and out through the hands and pulling the bum back towards the feet. You can play around with rolling the left foot down to the mat, coming up onto the ball of the right foot, and then switching that. Pressing the right foot down, rolling up onto the ball of the left foot. And then you stick with this or press into that left hand and reach that right arm up and over the ear. And then right hand comes back down to the mat. Bring your knees back to center. Drop the knees down to the mat. Let's bring your bum back to your heels, child's pose. And roll up onto the finger pads here if you like. And then we'll come back up through our table. Soften the belly, drop it down, lift the heart, coming into a cow pose. Press into the hands, 
round your back up towards the ceiling, cat pose, and then pull your bum back to your heels. And then a few times just like this, we'll pull ourselves forward, bend the elbows, soften the belly, come back up through your cow pose, and then press into the hands, round the back up, pull your bum back to your heels, and then let's do it one more time. You soften the elbows, pull yourself back into your table, soften the belly, lift the heart, press into the hands, round up through your back, and then bum back to your heels. Bring yourself into your table. And now we'll come to a seated position with the knees stacked on top of each other, knees pointing over towards the right, left leg is stacked up on top of the right. And then the top of that left foot can rest in the inner arch of that right foot. Take your fingers around behind you, press down into your finger pads, lift your heart up, gaze up and over to the right. And then come back through center. Now we'll just flip the legs over Legs moving over towards the left. Now, top of that right foot sits in that left inner arch. Fingers behind you. Press into your fingers and lift your heart and your gaze up to the right. And then back to center. Take soles of your feet together. Knees wide. Press into your fingers. Sit up nice and tall. We'll extend the legs out in front, Dandasana staff pose, fingers pressed down underneath the shoulders. You could have a big or little bend in the knees here. If you find your pelvis sort of rolling back or if the hamstrings feel really tight, then you keep a bend in the knees so you can have a nice neutral spine. We'll reach the arms up and then if you don't have a bend in the knees, put a bend in the knees now. Bring yourself forward, belly to the thighs. Hands reach for the feet. And then we'll slide the hands back up. Lift yourself up, arms reach up. Hinge yourself from the hips, bring the belly back to the thighs. Hands come back down towards the feet or the shins. And then slide the hands back under the shoulders one more time. Arms reach up and then you fold it forward. Bring yourself into a comfortable seat. One hand to belly, one hand to heart. Close your eyes. Come back to our intention to be gentle, kind, patient, loving, compassionate with ourselves. Bring palms together at the heart. May you feel safe. May you be healthy. May you be happy. May you live with ease. May your heart be open to love, compassion, and may you know joy. Thank you so much for sharing this short practice with me today with love and gratitude. Namaste.